Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Minister from Sarah Souls Ministries. Let the truth be told campaign. I just want to come real quick. Just got back from doing street ministry. We're about to take an hour break and then go back out. Um, I just want to let you people know, everybody who's watching this video right now, listen. Everybody can be saved. Everyone has an opportunity to be saved. It's never too late, but you must turn from your sins. God is calling you to come to him now. Ask and beg for his mercy and he will give it to you. Let's look at this Bible real quick. Whether you're a believer, whether you've been to uh, church before, whether you don't, you have not been to church. Look what the Bible says. Look at this in 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. This is with the Lord. This is about the Lord for you. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God does not want you to die. He does not want you to go to an eternal state of hell. He wants you to go to an eternal place of heaven, which will be the new Jerusalem coming down. He's preparing a place for us right now, for you and I. The story of Jesus Christ, when he died upon the cross and shed his blood, he allowed that to happen. He did it for you. Not just all these so-called good people. He did it for you. It's never too late to be saved. It's not his will that any man shall perish but come to repentance. Acts chapter 2 verse 21 says, Whosoever shall call upon the Lord shall be saved. All the promises of God are yes and amen. When you find over 3,500 different promises in this Bible, they all get to come true because the Bible tells us God cannot lie. And it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That means you and I. We can be saved. Saved meaning delivered. Delivered from this stronghold that's on our minds. Uh, Satan has blinded our minds. The darkness that we're in. You might be having a crack addiction, a cigarette addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction. You can have all these things controlling your life. And God came. Jesus Christ came in, in the flesh to break the power of sin upon your life. That's what you need salvation for. Every every person in this world needs a savior and Jesus Christ came to save you. So all you have to do is trust in him, accept the fact that the truth is you need him. You need him to break that power that's upon you that's causing you to sin. And, and, and the wages of sin is death according to the Bible. That means since you've been a sinner, you, you are guaranteed to die. You're gonna have death. But Christ came so that you can have life. You won't have to spend uh, uh, the, the, the wages of sin. You won't have to go to hell. You can actually live in heaven. So everybody, Jesus Christ came as the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. He broke the power of Satan on your life. See, this is the truth. This is what Satan wants you to think, that, that uh, you can't, that you're always going to be who you are, that you have to be a sinner. Everybody's messed up. But you can change through the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ came, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. Jesus came, for as much as then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he, Jesus, also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death, and that's the devil. Christ already came. He broke the power of Satan's sin on your life to, give, to make you turn into sin and walk in sin so he'll destroy your soul. But you don't have to follow that no more. Jesus Christ came once. He's coming again. This time when he comes, he's judging those, bringing the wrath upon those who don't believe the gospel or who disobey the gospel or who rejected the gospel. You have an opportunity to be saved. This is Save Our Souls Ministries, 740-526-1339. The king is coming and he wants you to be saved. No matter what your condition is, but you have to decide to let him save you and deliver you and walk in righteousness and holiness. This is Brother Minister, Let the Truth Be Told campaign, Galatians 4.16, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. God loves you. You can be saved. Turn from your sins and call out for the Lord and you shall be saved. God bless you, brothers and sisters.